Alright guys, I am back and welcome to the final part of this huge Blu-ray and DVD update. So, let's pick up from where we left off at. Next one here is another uh, Scream Factory um, Blu-ray. The first Sleepaway Camp. I know, the, I know the, the slip covers for these are really hard to find, but you know, slip covers, I mean, the slip covers are nice and I really like having the slip covers, but you know, just having the film on Blu-ray and having the features is good enough for me, if I can find them anywhere. Um, but a really nice release from Screen Factory for Sleepaway Camp. And of course, this is the one too where it has like the reversible artwork, but of course I went with the theatrical poster. Love that poster. Next one here is another Scream Factory title, Urban Legend, which I think Scream Factory did a really nice job on this release. Because I, I haven't watched the documentary yet, but this has a brand new documentary. I don't know how long the documentary is, maybe like 50 some minutes long or something like that. I could Maybe it might be a little longer. Um, and they interview Jamie Blanks, the director, and they interview a lot of the actors, Rebecca Gayhart, Loretta Devine, Tara Reid, Michael Rosenbaum, Robert Englund, Daniel Harris. So they interview a lot of people. And of course, a brand new commentary with the director and the producers, um, the old features from the old DVD, new before, never before seen behind the scenes footage. Um, so a really nice release from Screen Factory. Another Scream Factory title, Day of the Dead. Um, easily probably my favorite George Romero zombie film. I love Day of the Dead a lot. This one too had um, the reversible artwork, but this is the theatrical poster. Another Scream Factory title for my John Carpenter collection. The Thing, I did. Ha I, I had this on DVD, but I wanted to get it on Blu-ray, and I found the Screen Factory release. Say, so Screen Factory did a really nice job of this release. Another one for the John Carpenter collection from Screen Factory as well is the Collector's Edition Blu-ray of They Live, which I'm really happy to have this now. Another Scream Factory title, well, like I said, this is a lot of Scream Factory titles. Dawn of the Dead. Uh, but like I said, this DVD and Blu-ray update's been, like, over a period of, like, a few months, so it's been a long time. Um, but Dawn of the Dead, uh, this is the remake version from Scream Factory. Both versions of the movie are on here, and they're both in HD, which is really cool. A lot of great new features on here, brand new interviews, things like that. Really nice release. Another Scream Factory title, which I was really happy to see this finally get a Blu-ray release in the United States. House on Haunted Hill, the remake. One of my personal favorite remakes when it comes to horror movies. Uh, really happy to see this get a Blu-ray release from Scream Factory. Because before this, re this was released on Blu-ray, it was only available on Blu-ray, I think in Germany, I think. There was no Blu-ray of this in the United States until Screen Factory put one out. So that was pretty cool to see the film in HD. It looks pretty good in HD as well. Another Screen Factory title. All I can say is it's garbage day. As Eric Freeman would say. Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. I'd probably say this is a great release from Screen Factory. Brett commentary with Eric Freeman... Uh, making a feature out with Eric Freeman and some of the other actors. But a really nice release. I have all, all these Screen Factory ones, I have the reversible artwork on them. Another Screen Factory one, this is a pretty cool one. Ten to Midnight with Charles Bronson. One of my personal favorite Charles Bronson films. 
directed by Jay Lee Thompson, who did um, Happy Birthday to Me, and I think Death Wish 4, I could be wrong, I could be wrong on that, but um, 10 to Midnight, really cool Bronson film. Uh, the next one here is from, the, uh, this is the last Screen Factory title. This is pretty cool here because it's the, or the original Black Christmas from Screen Factory, but this slipcover is really hard to find. But I was able to find this at FYE, and they have one with the, with the slipcover on it, so I thought that was pretty cool to get this one on the slipcover. And the last one for this update is the new Halloween the brand new Halloween. I don't think I can say more about it. Love it. And of course I was going to save the t-shirt for last. It's a Phillies t-shirt but look who's on the back. Bryce Harper. That's right. So anyways, that is it for this update. Um, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Alright guys, take care.